Thank you, Riddick. I'm wondering why you're meeting was so short. I mean, didn't you guys just convene at like 8.05? I don't know why. It's the first one I've ever been to. Ever? <laughs> For a house caucus, yeah. yeah. Was this noticed? I don't know. I, mean, I don't know if they noticed it or not. Because it's a caucus, and I think it's not supposed to be public, correct? You, you need to talk to him. Okay. I'm not in charge this session. The fact of the matter is that lawmakers are meeting in caucus from both houses, from both parties, off-site to try to get around the law. Isn't that what's going on? No, because no. I don't think that the case was not about meeting off-site. The case why was not? about why? meeting in the Capitol and deciding on bills. And the and the, case, the decision was related to the case. Do you th so is it okay during the session to meet off-site in places like Jorgensen's or the Democrats over at the firehouse across the street from the Capitol or wherever it might be? I mean, is it okay for lawmakers from various caucuses to meet off-site and have meetings to discuss things outside. I think the critical question yeah. is whether democracy is improved or, or hindered if people can't have frank discussions. And the purpose of the open meeting laws of Montana is that the meetings where we decide things, which we do in committee and on the floor, are open. Is it not a caucus meeting then? This isn't a caucus? Well, it, the, I don't think the, the question before the court was whether whether public business can be conducted on public property behind those doors. But that was what the case was about. The court said no. So it's the public property thing that, that's, that's the component that I, you think is critical to I the I think ruling. it is. That's so you my, so you have opinion. had caucus meetings off-site under that interpretation? You've done that before? We're yes, talking no. about tonight. You know, have you before? Have I met with other Republican legislators? Have you met with a, a have you had a caucus? Have you had a quorum? I've never off -site? been a member of the House caucus, so I can't What about in the Senate? We, obviously the Senate's had meetings. Members of the Senate's had meetings. You bet. And you don't think it's a problem? Not if it's meeting outside on property. What do you think about that, Mr. Chair? About what, what meeting off campus? Yeah. campus. Meeting off campus. Well, like this. With a I mean, I mean, for example, Representative Hertz is wearing his badge. I mean, you, you guys are still dressed from the set. I mean, it's not like you it's are kicking back day. and yeah. It's been a long day. Yeah. When was this? When was this meeting noticed to members who are here today? How did they know? It was today. Yeah. Thanks. You need to go. That's fine. Well, by email? No. No, we just told them. Get together and give you ask for your opinions for in the future. And no one gave any opinions. If we hadn't shown up, would there have been opinions? No. Yeah. We would have been. We'd have probably been done sooner if you wouldn't have shown up. Anyway, well, yeah, and again, timing was, we had some that, I mean, they're gone, they've left already. Yeah. And there were meetings and functions, everything, it's, mm -hmm. yeah, it's tough, and a lot of them are going to be gone tomorrow, mm -hmm. so, yeah. So it might have been useful to just do it when they were all over the <laughs> What do you say, that's a really good point. What? If, I, if, you, if you were telling everybody up at the Capitol, why couldn't you just get everybody together at the Capitol? Because there were functions going on all the time, all day long. We didn't have a time to pull them through, okay. to pull them together. I mean, you know that. You saw it. Did you look at our schedule? I don't buy that for a second. You know? No. That they were busy. <laughs> I don't okay. buy for a second that the most convenient way to get the caucus together was to have them in the basement of Jorgensen's at 8 o'clock. I think the most convenient way to get the caucus together is say, hey, everybody, we're meeting in room 152 to have a caucus meeting. And we all we expect anybody who can make it to be there. That's how it happens. That's how it happens well, during the yeah. session, and that's how it happens. But the day was packed full. Well, and Come you on. didn't it really was. want to have this meeting in front of the press. That's if I didn't, I would have said please leave, and I'm not going to do that. Well, if you said please leave on camera, you would have been in trouble. <laughs> I'm guessing whatever's in that envelope is probably printed up at the Capitol today. Can we get copies? 
Oh, oh yeah. I gave John a copy. Sure. I was already that pain in the butt. You are already that pain. I'm the slow. I'm man. sure it's not even interesting. Yeah, it's never interesting. <laughs> Oh, come on. It it's even not says 11, 13, 14 it? Republican oh. House Caucus yeah. right there on the top. You, you labeled it what it is. <laughs> how do you def how do you deny that, that this is what this is? I mean, or are you not denying that that's what it is? Well, it's, but it's not a secret. It's not closed. What he's saying is okay. that it's it's not a secret closed Wait. caucus, but okay, because they didn't kick us out when we showed up. And Jeff Essman's legal opinion is that it's only it only because it's not on public spaces. property that it doesn't follow that that it's not in violation of the court order. It says right there, by me. Republican House Caucus. That's what it says right on the top. It's labeled that. But you don't disagree. You think that it's legal and within the spirit of the law. Absolutely. Have caucus there's, meetings in off, terms of, there's three off. differences. Those meetings are behind closed doors, discuss setting policy on public property. The doors were open. We weren't discussing policy. We HB2 is the spending bill for the biennium. 1% increase, decrease. Would you like to see for this bill? You may explain your answer if you like, or just give a plus minus number. That's discussing policy. No, it's, it's a survey. It's asking opinion. We didn't decide anything. There was nobody saying nothing. I'm standing up side. arguing for a point, and there was no vote on it. And what I said is, if we hadn't showed up with our cameras, they may have gotten to that point. Oh, come on. Well, we don't know. You don't know. We don't exactly. know. Exactly. That's the issue when they're not noticed, when the press and the public isn't invited to the meeting, when the meetings are held, when it's whispered among legislators. We're meeting here at this time, whether it's before the session at 6 a.m. at Jorgensen's, which I know happens during the session, or whether it's at, you know, during break in the middle of the day when the Democrats all, you know, take their walk over to the Firemen's Union building across the street, whatever. What I'm saying is when you guys are whispering among each other, meet here at this time, the public is cut out of the process. And, and I think it's particularly important when you have a majority which has the ability with the votes to make policy, to pass stuff. I mean, obviously you need a governor's signature, but you guys can make decisions in this room outside of the public eye. Mm -hmm. and, and you're asking us to take your word for it that you're not doing that. And I don't think that we should well, trust you. You didn't see that happen here, did you? Well, no. Okay. But I also haven't seen, this is the first one I've been to. <laughs> so, I don't know what happens at all the other ones that we don't find out about. Well, I don't know. I've been, I've been to a lot of meetings of a lot of Republicans and a lot of ideas get discussed. And, you know, some ideas go forward. They all have to go forward through the legislature, through a process, through public hearing, through votes on the floor. You know, and a lot of ideas get discussed that never go anywhere. You know, every vote we take is public. Every vote we take in the committee is, is public. They're all recorded. Seven or eight hundred votes every session. You know, I think the spirit of Montana's law and constitution is being followed. There. I, you know, my, my conscience is clear. There's a social need for this. I think what is that social need? I, I would think be that's an argument, but that. I would like to. Yeah. yeah. What is the, What is exactly the need? I, I'm kind of intuiting what you mean by that, but. Well, I mean, this caucus just elected leaders, and they're trying to be responsive to their members. How do you do that without asking? Why can't you do that in front of the press though? or the public? Why can't this we meeting be that. noticed? Why can't this we meeting be noticed? Did. That's such a the disingenuous press finding, answer. The press that is finding such a disingenuous you answer. is different than the press knowing. I mean, yeah, or the public knowing. At least be honest know. that what you're saying is... There is a need, what you were saying. What I interpret when you're saying that there's a social need, the social need is for the caucus to be. Your argument is that the caucus should be able to get together and have their discussions as a caucus outside of the public eye. 
you know, that there's potential if you get to the point of, you know, hammering out, you know. That decision occurred in a time before tournament, as I believe, when there was strong legislative leadership that, you know, basically forced its will on the legislators. Without term limits, you know, you don't have strong legislative leadership with ability to, you know, coerce votes from legislators. So the, the nature of caucus meetings has totally changed in the last 20 years. They have to be investigatory and collaborative. That's the only purpose they can serve now. On what um, Essen was saying about the, maybe the need, I mean, I'm going to put words in his mouth, that, that, but like maybe the need for... He said social need. The social need to get um, the caucus together outside of the Capitol, somewhere off campus, um, not notice it, that there might be a, a need for that. Would you care to speak to that? I guess I would have to understand what he means by social needs. Well, do you think there's a need? I mean, do you think could you see a, an argument for being able to have closed caucus meetings? No. And we don't. What I, I just, I guess I, the thing, the th reason we get all incredulous is because, like, imagine this. I mean, you're not allowed to be up at the Capitol and close the doors and lock people out. Mm -hmm. But you think you should be allowed to have this whole door of however many miles it is from the Capitol, a couple of miles separated from there, where you all come over here and have it here. You can't have it behind a closed door, but you can have it off campus a couple miles away without And not tell it. people about it, except for members of your caucus. It's a de facto closure. You know, it, probably an oversight on my part then. Well, it, that, you wouldn't be the first one to have the oversight. So, I mean, I'm not. I, we're, yeah. we're not trying to pin this I mean, on you and say that you you're know, doing something well, that nobody else has done. But no, honestly, if I wanted this closed, I'd say get out of here or whatever. But honestly, well, that would have created serious then, problems. Right. <laughs> no, but I know. Which would have been great for us. <laughs> So you think we were hiding out? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And I, okay. but I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a new thing. Um, well, and, and but here's the thing: I also know that it's a, you know, that the parties don't get on each other about it because everybody does it because it's, like Jeff said, they they see it as a social need. I think there's an argument to be made for that. But but I would like to have the argument then, not have you know what I feel is kind of a disingenuous discussion about well it wasn't closed the doors were open I would have told you to leave well if you'd done that then it would have been a closed meeting then you would have been well, right. a viol well, open right. violation of the law um, but this is a gr I think it creates a just enough area. ambiguity to yeah. where you know you yeah. get to have your plausible no. deniability and even if it's not meant in any kind of insidious way the effect of it is that the public is shut out. Yes.